welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the Hyper Type M 880 watt power supply. It's all about energy efficiency. This one here, starting with the box, which is made with recycled paper actually, has 80% plus energy efficiency. We're talking about a quality power supply here. This one is going to give out less heat, it's going to consume less energy, and it's going to give us a regulated amount of output which we need to power our gaming rigs. Now this one here has a huge 135 millimeter silent fan which you can see okay and surrounded by it on that metal case you can see the perforated holes to allow it to breathe and dissipate the uh, heat as well but it doesn't heat up the inside of the case so this actually has high quality Japanese capacitors also so all in all the whole thing inside out is good quality so keep that in mind when you're looking for a power supply. Here's how the amps are divided throughout the rails and you can see the combined outputs here for the wattages for your reference. Now looking at the connectors you've got your standard motherboard 24 pin there you've got on these other cables we're gonna go through them here the first set is the 8 and the 4 pin um, power connectors as well in case your motherboard needs those and of course here we've got some additional Molex for your IDE type drives if you've got a couple of those we've got three of these okay now more and more people have the SATA drives so they're giving out less and less of the IDEs as as the next generations of PSUs come out now here the next set is the four SATA connectors okay so if you've got four SATA drives for example then here's your uh, power connectors for those and the next set that we've got here is for the PCI Express. So if you've got uh, two uh, NVIDIA cards, for example, you wanted the uh, SLI, well, this is certified for that, and you can connect your uh, 8 and 6 pin to those cards and have them back to back. So it's SLI ready, and of course, you can use this for Crossfire as well. I have uh, HD4870 X2 on here, which works great. Now, looking at how you install this it's pretty much standard you want to make sure though that you face the fan down because it's going to take the cool air in from the bottom as, as you can see here in this case there's uh, an intake opening there not facing up because you don't want it blowing the air inside of the case so it takes the air in from the bottom and it spits it through the back out the case okay now for your cable management you want to have that going out the side of the case at the back and then tie your cables in and bring them in through the other side and hide them as best as you can okay because this is not a modular drive that's only one thing that you have to worry about is the cables now installing it is pretty straightforward you just get your screwdriver you get the uh, four screws that come with it of course and you attach it to the case and here it is black on black matches with the case of course this is actually being installed in the hyper or series case which I reviewed earlier and you can see it's nice and snug in there now let's look at uh, at another angle here with uh, some hardware already installed so it's actually going to power quite a bit of uh, cool components that I've got here so you can see on the top of it I've got a uh, wireless PCI card and um, looking at the rest of the system specs actually I've reviewed all of these components that it's actually powering individually in my previous videos we've got these ACES board, the RAM from Kingston, the AMD Phenom which is overclocked the ATI Radeon, which I mentioned, overclocked. We've got the V8 cooler, a hard drive, a DVD, rewritable drive, and the three fans that are in the case. So it's powering a, a generous amount of hardware, and we're talking about, you know, good quality hardware, so not just anything that is lightweight. So this, this is obviously giving a nice, regulated, consistent amount of energy on idle and load. Of course, full load is what we're talking about. It's consistent. Here's a recap on those connectors that I just mentioned a second ago, okay, and don't worry, this actually does come with extenders, okay, so on top of these standard cables, they do come with these attached uh, attachment type extenders, which you can um, then use if you need more, okay, so take a look here what they look like, here's an extender for the um, 8 to 6 pin, so if you needed to extend the uh, power cable, for that for example and here's here are the other molex ones that i mentioned so so here in the box you get the manual you get the power uh, plug of course you get the um, screws that i showed you earlier so you can attach it to your case and um, and the sticker 
of the hyper as well. So all in all, this is a great PSU, which gave a consistent amount of power on full load, and it did not increase the heat of my system. So this was a great PSU to review, and I thank Hyper for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.